know, for me, I feel like things haven't changed much as far as my lifestyle goes. Um, I did, I do have a new position now, so I'm no longer in the field. I'm not on the line anymore. Uh, I'm a trainer now. Uh, it's been awesome. You know, my mom and my dad are proud of me, of course, and um, they're my biggest supporters right now. So uh, my wife, you know, she loves it and she loves watching me too. And it's been great. It's been great. Um, a lot of support and a lot of love. Everybody at work is really supportive. Being on a show, a reality show, you're uh, you're open to to more. Uh, you're vulnerable, you know. And it's been cool, I guess, to kind of show more of that side instead of just uh, you know the macho man at work or you know. So it's it's been cool. So being a lineman, it, it's helped me a lot because um, coming up as an apprentice. You're, you're kind of thrown into the fire and you're kind of forced to, to adapt. Being on Tough as Nails, you're getting thrown into the fire every day. And I'm kind of used to that. So, you know, I'm, I'm really good at keeping my composure because, <clears throat> you know, maybe when I was coming up as an apprentice, I wasn't as good as keeping my composure. But because I've been thrown in worse situations, I feel like, um, it, it's, you know, the show was... Not a piece of cake. It was still hard, but it was a lot easier for me to maintain my cool and still be able to think straight. That's one of the biggest thing in, uh, I guess, you know, being under pressure and completing a task is the ability to stay calm. And you know, once you fluster out, you lose your entire train of thought, and your your plan that you had, your perfect plan that you had, will always crumble. The most memorable, I would say, would probably have to have been, you know, I would say the sheet challenge. The sheet challenge brought out um, a lot of the realness of all the contestants on the show. The greed and the selfishness, but everybody showed it because we all wanted to win, you know? And watching it again on TV, it, it, was, it was cool because, um, you know, that's, it's just human nature to feel that way, I guess. But you know that everybody on that show are, are great people. But, <clears throat> you know, that cheap challenge was probably the toughest one um, mentally as well. And it took a very long time. And the fact that we were able to overcome, um, you know, every our personal greed, all 12 of us, it, it, it was uh, something to remember for sure. It was, it was tough for one, and all of us learned a lot about each other that challenge in a good way. You know, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta, like I said, you know, think on the fly and be able to, you know, just come up with things and you just, something that I do is I just take shots and you know, if I fail, I fail. In the sheep challenge, it got heated at moments and, you know, nobody's plan was working because eventually I found out the only way to do it is to work together. And that's, you know, when I started getting a little more vocal because I needed people to listen, we all needed to be on the same page um, to get the sheep in the pen. And that's basically what it came down to that challenge. And Besides that, you know, we all have to kind of just come to a to an agreement that we just got to help each other out. Yeah, it was uh, that the the day of the window washing was a hard day for all of us because um, he's a he's a really good friend of mine, and as a lineman, we're we're trained to rescue um, to rescue people at height, but. Given the circumstances and how far away he was from me, I couldn't uh, do anything. So it was, it, it was kind of hard to feel helpless, not being able to do anything to help him. They did get him down, and uh, he, we we knew he was fine. Uh, pretty, I mean, you know, maybe some hours later, but it, that day was tough. That day was tough. Uh, you know, the show Tough as Nails, they do everything in their power they really 
go in, out of their way to make sure that we're all safe. They had the best, uh, you know, equipment that they could have had. They had the best people um, working, um, you know, with, with all the gear that was provided. They had the professionals there. Safety-wise, they were safe. It was always fun because, you know, in a, in a way, uh, the individual challenges, if you win, everybody, you know, you get more respect for your team in that way. Kind of more of a, a leader. All of us as a team, we got to see each other. So it's hard for me to flip the switch between team and individual challenges. <clears throat> not, not really, um, because like I was up there for one purpose. I wanted to win the money. And that's what we're all there for, right? Win the money um, for our families, basically all of us. <clears throat> and yeah, I mean, it, it was fun. It was fun. Well, I guess what I will say about the next upcoming episodes is you guys will enjoy it. So stay tuned. <laughs> yep, just keep watching. Just keep watching. It's a good show. It's not. It's not gonna get any worse. It's only gonna get better. You know, besides watching the show, you know, it's uh, it, it means a lot and. Just for you guys tuning in and cheering me on, um, you know, it's a lot and I appreciate all the support and, you know, yeah, I appreciate it.